Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Rotel DT 6000 CD player slash DAC. It's gonna get ugly. Sit back, relax, and make sure nothing splashes on you. Oh, the old guy's hi-fi was spread in the night. Bridging past and pressing in the glow of autumn light. He holds the future gently like he held the past so tight in the old guy's hi-fi. Everything feels right. Yeah, this one's not going to be good. So what is the DT6000? Well, it's a CD player. It obviously plays CDs, but no SACD. At $2,300, no SACD. It Obviously, CD player. It also can be used as a DAC. And when I spin it around and we look at the back, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it is balanced. It does, and they make a big deal of this, it has a smooth action tray, and it uses a spring-floating CD mechanism and vibration-dampening materials for near-silent operation during playback, and we're going to talk about that one. Um, it uses an ESS Sabre 9028 Pro 8-channel DAC chip, so you get four channels for left channel, four channels for the right channel, which does give it a balanced uh, configuration internally. Um, it does support 32 up to 384 on USB and 24192 on SPDIF and DSD256, as well as MQA. So according to the manufacturer, it, it has an audiophile grade toroidal transformer for clean power. It does include a remote control, which I obviously can control a lot of other things. Um, it is uh, unbalanced output is 2.1 volts. Balanced output is 4.3 volts. It has a frequency response of 20 to 20,000 hertz. And when we look on the back, we'll see what it, you know, all that goes into this and goes out is. You can barely see the display, even when you're right on top of it. It's a very faint display. So I'm going to actually come around here and take a closer look at it. So we've got CD digital input selection, PC, USB, repeat random, and time to change the time display there. The C infrared window, eject, play, stop, pause, track, skip, track, forward, skip, uh, fast forward, excuse me, rewind, fast forward, that's it. Here's my issue with this thing. And we're going to open it up and look inside. $2,300 and you get the exact same transport that they put in their CD11 Mark II at $699. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. So let me reconfigure. I'm going to spin it around and we're going to take a look at the backside. Here we are looking at the backside. We've got balanced out, single ended out. We've got digital in on coax, digital in on Toslink a USB on Type-B. This USB-A port is strictly for service, but you could use it to power some USB device like a Weem or something. RS-232 on D sub 9 for control, trigger in and out, and the uh, IEC power socket. And that's the entire back panel. Well, let's go open it up and take a look inside. Well, here we are looking inside the Rotel Diamond Series DT6000 CD player DAC transport thing. Big Toretto power supply. Nice filtering caps, very nice. Wema caps. There's nothing cheap about any of this stuff until you get there. That's embarrassing. $2,300 and you get the same CD transport you're probably find in the $99 Blu-ray player. That's really embarrassing. There's the ESS chip. At least it's not a mobile version. The 9028 Pro is actually the larger version and unfortunately the way this is configured and the way it's put together and it's just the way they voiced it it's not great, and I'm going to talk about it when we get inside the studio. But anyway, so that's the layout. Again, nothing cheap. Wema caps, good stuff, well laid out, well designed. Rotel knows what they're doing. Just the way they voice this is an issue. That's my big issue. The display is embarrassing. You can't even read it when you're almost right on top of it. I mean, it's well put together, except for that. That's the thing that gets me angry. 2300 bucks. That, and it doesn't do SACD. All right, I'm going to close it back up. We're going to go into the studio. I'm going to tell you how I think it sounds, and then we're going to put an end to this mess. Well, you can see from looking inside the DT6000, there are some decent quality components in it, nice big Toretto power supply, and I'll talk about why I don't think that matters at all. Um, it does use the ESS uh, 9028 Pro chip, which, of course, has eight channels. You use four per channel. It didn't matter. The thing didn't sound good at all. And I'm... Listen, I'm not a big fan of ESS, but the particular implementation here 
is very poor. It's very fatiguing. It's very, very hard to listen to. And at 2300 bucks, this is just the one that frosts me so bad. That, I can't believe that. As I mentioned in the inside, when we looked inside, you can get that exact same transport in their CD11 Mark II for a third of the price and add a DAC, a really good DAC, much better than what's in here, whether you choose ESS or AKM or Burr Brown or whatever. And between an external DAC and the CD11 Mark II, you're going to have a way better performing unit for a lot less money. And that's what really gets me on this one, is it just seems like a blatant money grab. I like Rotel stuff generally, but this is just very, very disappointing. Very sad. Very yeah. I'm just, I can't get it out of here soon enough. Well, that's my hot take on the DT6000 from Rotel. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're willing to give me a like and a subscribe. And if you wish to support the channel, there's a thank you button at the bottom of the video window. There is also a link to join the channel if you wish in the pinned comment and in the video description. In the video description, there will not be a link for this. Um, there are links to other products I use here in the studio. There are also my playlists. Please comment, let me know your thoughts if you own Rotel. And I think the CD11 is probably a great unit. It's got a Burr Brown DAC in it. I bet it sounds really, really good for a third the price. Anyway. If you think I'm stupid, you think I'm crazy, let me know in the comments. I just think that for 2300 bucks, you can do so much better. And that's really what gets me on this one. So like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram if you want to. Um, my name's Ed Homewood. This is the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel. It's now your obligation to go find a really good CD player for a lot less money and sit back and listen to some music. Thank you so very much for your time. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.